gentlemen, welcome to Bustin' Loose. I'm Miss Callie along with NWF CEO Nate the Snake Pelly. And what an exciting night of Northern Wrestling Federation action we had right here at the UAW Hall in Fairfield on the road to FanFest. And what a bumpy road it was for some of the stars of the Northern Wrestling Federation. What about the situation involving now the Tri-State Championship? Legendary Larry D will be defending that championship at FanFest 11 against challengers Papano Joe, Chiron, and T-Money in a fatal four-way matchup. Those men were involved in a big tag team match here in Fairfield. Things broke down, got really, really ugly, and now it's going to be a fatal four-way Tri-State Championship at FanFest. And then the NWF Tag Team Championships will be on the line as Tough Justice defends against David Tyler and Jordan Clearwater in a street fight. It will be a street fight at FanFest, but what about tonight when we saw David Tyler and Jordan Clearwater leave the Tag Team Champions Lane, giving them a little taste of their own medicine? I think they got just what they deserved on that. Absolutely. What about the situation, the very controversial situation, involving the Unified Championship? Jay Donaldson was defending here tonight against Calypso. In that matchup, Jay Donaldson decided he was just going to get himself counted out. He decided, take the loss, live to find another day. I was having none of it, though, Callie. No, you were not. She was trying to show that he was yellow. Jay Donaldson talks about how he's a winner. I challenged his manhood to get back in the ring. Jay Donaldson still refused to get back in the ring. He got himself counted out. What he forgot, though, was Calypso has that golden ticket. Which he cashed in in order to force Jay Donaldson's hand and try to gain the championship from Jay Donaldson. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, that unified championship was within the reach of Calypso. So close. So close. Referee got knocked out intentionally by Jay Donaldson, not once but twice. Right. And then, then the very controversial way that that match ended when both men's shoulders were counted down by both referees. I could not get a straight answer from either referee as to who won the matchup. From my vantage point, all four shoulders were down. In a situation like that, Kelly, there's only one thing to do. Hold up the championship. Calypso is not the champion. Jay Donaldson is not the champion. But since we're holding it up, we might as well hold it up really high. Because at FanFest, there's going to be a rematch. Jay Donaldson versus Calypso for the unified title in the ultimate ladder match. That is going to be an electrifying match. Both men known for being high flyers and you put them in the ultimate ladder match. Nate Pelly, that's, that, that, that gave the crowd exactly what they wanted Absolutely. right there. It's gonna be an incredible matchup. Speaking of incredible matches, Nasty Russ and Roger Ruffin had a knockdown, drag out brawl here tonight. And the only way that matchup stopped was when Big Mama came down to the ring, throwing in the towel before Nasty Russ could come off the second rope there and potentially break the neck of Roger Ruffin. Nasty Russ has just crossed the line far too many times. And watching what he tried to do, and actually what he did do to Roger Ruffin tonight, thank goodness for the Titan. The Titan able to come down the ring, get... Nasty Russ out of there. Well, then the Titan, he had a few demands of his own. Nasty Russ has been demanding the main event match at FanFest. Titan said, that's fine. You can have the main event match. You can challenge for the Northern Wrestling Federation Championship, but under one condition, that matchup will be inside a steel cage. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss that huge steel cage match for the Northern Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. It's the going to be huge, Nate. It's going, going to, to be, be huge. absolutely huge, Callie. You're absolutely right. We are on the road to FanFest fans, including our next stop, which is next Saturday night, when we return to Bone Crushers that Saturday night, July the 22nd. It's always a Bone Crushing night of action at Bone Crushers. Isn't that ever the truth? And then, on Friday night, August the 4th, we head to the Clinton County Fairgrounds in Wilmington, Ohio. Big return to Wilmington, Ohio. Always a great time in Wilmington. And then the very next night, it's a doubleheader weekend here in the Northern Wrestling Federation as we return for the third straight year. It's ringside by the pool sign three in Ludlow, Kentucky at the Ludlow Bromley Swim Club, a special fundraiser for the swim club. Make sure you get your tickets for those matches and make sure you join us on the road to FanFest. Also, make sure you get your tickets for FanFest Saturday night, August the 19th. Tickets are available at Hooterville Sports Cards on Pleasant Avenue in Fairfield, the BP Station on Main Street in Hamilton, as well as all live Northern Wrestling Federation events. We'll be back with more Bustin' Loose right after this. 
Who got off the throne? No, 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 let me cut you off. Prince of Sport, you're so good. Thank you for costing us that match. Me? You? Me? Yes, where was your team? Where were you? Where were you for the bailout? You're so good, you don't need me, right? I am that good. Now, I can wrestle the by myself. Guys, 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 guys. Chill out, I got an idea. You guys want to fight about whose fault it was? I'll tell you what, I know a very easy way we can settle this. This Saturday night at Bone Crushers, July the 22nd, it's going to be Lexus Montez one on one with Ricky Cardinal. And the loser of that matchup, they have to admit it was their fault that you guys lost tonight. Well, that's great, because we're already beating you once, so it doesn't matter. Bet. Yeah, bet. All right, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. We will see Ricky Cardinal go one-on-one -on -one with Lexis Montez this Saturday night when the Northern Wrestling Federation returns to Bone Crushers for a bone crushing night of action. And then, Saturday, August 19th, fan fans, it is Fan Fest at the UAW Hall in Fairfield. Remember, get your pre-sale tickets, Hooterville Sports Cards on Pleasant Avenue in Fairfield, the BP Station on Main Street in Hamilton, and all live Northern Wrestling Federation events. Absolutely. On that big card, we're going to see Wildcat Chris Harris go one-on-one -on -one with Jesse Hyde. We're also going to see the mercenary Anthony Bryant as he takes on Christopher Michael Lotus. What about the big matchup between Muldoon and Mr. Reality Check? It's going to be a strap match. What an exciting match that's going to be. And fans, don't forget, you've also got the Northern Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship on the line as Tough Justice defends against David Tyler and Jordan Clearwater in a street fight. You're going to see that big matchup. What about a first time ever? It's Brody Cormick going one-on-one -on -one with Big League in a wide world of sports matchup. We're going to be talking more about that one in the weeks to come here on Bust and Loose. But then again, you have that Tri-State Championship matchup. Fatal 4-Way, Larry D, will be defending against Chiron, T-Money, and Pompano Joe. The Unified Championship on the line as Jay Donaldson takes on Calypso in the ultimate ladder match. And then the main event. The Northern Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as the Titan defends against Nasty Russ inside a steel cage. At this time, let's take you to comments from the stars of the NWF. I've had men do some very nefarious, vile, and evil things to me over the course of my career. I've been spit on. I've been punched in the face, kicked when I was down. I've had my very dignity taken from me in that ring before. But Mr. Reality Check, tonight you took it to a whole new level. When you wrapped this strap around my neck and hung me over that top rope, I felt my very life begin to escape me. And in the process, you woke up the part of Muldoon that I have let lie dormant for so very long. This is more than a wrestling match. This is more than a strap match. This is eye for an eye. This is tooth for a tooth. One lash will not be enough. Two lashes will not be enough. Three lashes will not be enough. And to be perfectly honest, Jim, I don't know how many it's going to take, but I can assure you this. The lashes will not stop until my bloodlust is satisfied. You brought this on yourself. And at FanFest, you will lie in the bed that you have made. NWF, we're 34 days away. 34 days away from the biggest stage that the NWF has set all year. And on that stage, on that night, Larry D defends his NWF Tri-State title against three other men. He walks in, Chiron, T-Money, Papano Joe. I have what you want. That night, all the people come to see what the NWF has to offer. All the people come to see the biggest show of the year. They leave and they will still see Legendary Larry D, the NWF Tri-State Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bustin' Loose. 
Join the Northern Wrestling Federation on Saturday night, July the 22nd, as we return to 6105 Vine Street in Elmwood Place for a bone-crushing night of Northern Wrestling Federation action at Bone Crushers. On that night, you're going to see Ricky Cardinal as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Lexis Montez. I, for one, I'm excited for the Northern Wrestling Federation's big return to Wilmington, Ohio, the Clinton County Fairgrounds Expo Center that's coming up on Friday night. That's right, Friday night, August the 4th. On that card, you're going to see a big six-man tag team matchup. It's going to be Jay Donaldson joining forces with Ryan Stone and Matt Stevens to take on the trio of Jordan Clearwater, David Tyler, and Calypso. Plus, what about a big women's match? That's right, the ladies are going to be in action in Wilmington as well as Big Mama goes one-on-one -on -one with making her NWF debut, Thunder Kitty. All that and much, much more. But now, let's check out these highlights from this past Saturday night at the UAW Hall in Fairfield. See my the clothesline? Oh, I knocked his lights out, dude. I knocked his lights out. Sweezy can't hang. Sweezy oh, can't no. Hang. He's not cut out for Swingerville, baby. You know what? Dave, well, let's get some girls. Oh, that sounds great. Let's get great. a group of girls. Let's bring them back to the compound and see what happens. Okay. Let's, oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, ladies. How you doing? You guys come here off? See you all around. Did you guys see my match? I did a little flip. You didn't, you didn't see it. it was pre-show, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I was thinking, since I'm on a winning streak, I'm killing it. We can all go to Wings and Rings right now. You know, let's go. No? You know what? 
I normally don't do this. I get the swinger mobile around back. I'll bring it around. We'll go to Wings and Rings, get a couple of drinks. Get back in the swinger mobile, go to the swinger compound. Get a couple more drinks, see what happens. No. We don't swing that way. Oh my god. Right. These proofs. You know, I'm done. Uh, I'm done, babe. Uh, Let's just go to Wings and Rings and we'll get a picture, see what happens. Alright, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, whatever. Wait, I'm done. Jake. Hey, hey, babe. Hey, what's that? Hey, don't, don't worry about hey, it. Hey, what's that? Don't worry about hey. it. Hey, something came up and I called a mate, bro. You got uh, called a mate? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, man. I called a mate. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a drive. What are you going to do? Don't worry about it. What are you talking? So you got called a mate. I got this. Babe! All right. Where are you going? Who's going to drive me? Swing your mobile. Hey! Babe! Bro! Dude. Hey, buddy, dude! Bro! Uh, oh! Brother man! Stu, you got a new car! Bro, I've had this car forever! Dude, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you, man, I'm not Stu! Stop pulling my arm, buddy! You are Stu, and I know. We ride up and down the roads every weekend. Yeah. I know this is a new car. I'm gonna hop in, brother. Dude. You got a baby, too, Stu! Dude, um, what are you hiding from me? You got a whole nother family? Let's go to the bar, brother. Dude, I'm not stupid.